What's up everyone, Julian here today, gonna be showing you how to do Alarco Mutual Rhythm Style Hard Groove Tech Note, stuff that's blowing up at the moment. I love this stuff, you love this stuff, let's figure out how to learn it. Thanks for the support everybody, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe, and check out the template from this video at the top of the description, you can grab that while it's available, make sure to do it, it'll really help you take your tracks to the next level, I promise, I've seen it happen before. Thanks for the support everybody, and let's dive in. All right, so here's the project file. The first thing that we have going on here is we have a side chain, so it's just the kick made very short, and then everything can be side chained to that, and it'll be nice and punchy. Then we got the kick. We got just nice punchy 909. You can hear it. Maybe it's got a little bit of saturation or something like that on it. Kind of old school sounding. I think with the kicks here, it, it, like when people talk about wanting to make something a little bit more old school sounding or whatever, the kick is a good place to do that. If you get a kick like this, it's going to sound a lot more old school than, say, some of these like trancey kicks or whatever that people are doing. Then the bass line is made up of two parts. We have this. and this. So the first part, the main thing is this 808. So what this is, is it's actually a spins 808. If you know hip hop production, you know about the spins 808. What I did is I took it and then I literally just got rid of this part at the end, like, or at the beginning, this little transient, because obviously that's quite, like if you zoom in, you can see that's a very fat transient. So you just get rid of that so it'll just be the bass. And then you can have just this tail end here. I've got a low pass. We have the glide on as well, so like then if you look at the notes, right, it can glide and we can get that sound. Then we've just got it being side chain and we're cutting a bit of sub and then we're also cutting a bit of highs. Then over top of that we have this tom. And yeah, you can hear the groove when it all comes together. On the group we're cutting a bit more sub, converting everything to mono. Then we have our main drums. So we have the hi-hat, two layers, right? We've got this shaker, and then this big fat open hi-hat, plus we got this clap. So see, even just these drums with no rave loops, with no break beats, nothing, still are smacking. But then, yeah, we have our loops. Right? Hard Groove, of course, has these. So we got like this one. And this one, you can hear they're in two different ranges. So already these two are kind of coming together and creating one thing. We've got this one. This one, which is much lower, right? And it's being sidechained, so it kind of fills in the mid-range. Same thing with that one. And then some bongos. So they're all a bit quiet on the run, and then you put it together, and you get this big, fat... Then we just have this shaker. So I actually chopped this out of, like, a shaker loop. I just took one of them. And then there's just this. So basically we have like the whole percussion, like all the drums. Just constantly going. And then you add in this. And it kind of gives you something that's a bit more like momentary. Like it's not just constantly. You have this to kind of like just hit and then it breathes, right? So then we got the vocal. So what I did is I took this, almost like a funk vocal, right? And then I did Slice the New MIDI Track by Transient. So you get each of these vocals. This has a very clearly defined transient, so it's easy to do. And then you just take the chops from there and create a rhythm that'll fit with your drum groove. Now, without the effects, it's a little bit different. Right, we got a bit of distortion. And obviously the delay actually adds a lot of the notes that you hear. Like a lot of that rhythm that you're hearing there is the delay and the 16th notes going into this 8th note delay. That's what the 2 is. It's 8th notes. 
So you can create a lot of groove through that, and then just side chaining, which also is important for the groove on this. So you can see it's very simple, it's mostly focused around percussion, and then just that, you know, those vocal stabs at the end just kind of bring the whole thing home. So there it is, as you can see, this style is not too hard to make, I think it can definitely be hard to make when you don't know what you're doing. So hopefully I demystified this a bit for you in this video, thank you so much for supporting everybody, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe, let me know what you think of this video in the comments, let me know if you want to see more hard groove or more techno in general. Like I said in the beginning, you can get the full template from this video at the top of the description on my website. Make sure to go grab that while it's available. It's the best way to take your production to the next level instantly. Thanks for the support, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.